I am at Heathrow Terminal 3 Airport on the way to Panama. I'm just walking to my gate, which happens to be the furthest away gate, of course. I'm traveling with Grace and Matilda. However, we actually have a different flight over to Panama because they're flying back to New York on the way home and I'm flying back to London. And because we have different flights back, it means we've got different flights there. And so they're flying from Terminal 2 at exactly the same time. Our flights are literally the same time, but we're just flying with a different airline. And then I think I land in Panama about half an hour before them. And so I'm gonna meet them on arrivals. And so that is why I'm by myself right now. We've made it to Panama City! Maybe I should go like this. We literally have no idea where we're going. We just thought, let's have a walk, shall we? Hello everyone! <laughs> Matilda! Hi. Grace! Hello everyone, just having a look through some binoculars. Can you see anything? You really can actually. You can see every detail. Panama! So we've come to a market because Matilda needs to get some flip flops because her shoes are really uncomfortable. And I feel like I stepped back into the 90s. We have such classics here, everyone. For example, the ripped jeans. The ripped jeans. Oh, the nice ripped jeans. And the studs. Oh, the studs. Diamantes. It's just beautiful. I think I'm going to buy this tankini. So we need to get to the top of this hill here, but we're still not sure how to get there. We've been walking towards this hill for the past couple of hours. <laughs> to give you an update, we're now, we think, near the top. You're not supposed to walk right from the bottom like we did, and we're hoping that we're about 15 minutes away. But we don't know, we don't know. We're on the search for a sloth. Let us find one. Oh, we cannot see you. Sophie, come on. Where are you, sloth? Oh my god, it's a sloth. <gasps> oh my god, it's moving so slowly. <gasps> we made it. We have made it to the top of Cerro Ampho. We think it's called that, but we're not too sure. And we literally started all the way right in the middle of those high-rise buildings and we've walked all the way there so we're nice and sweaty but it looks amazing! It does, it looks like a Lego village. I'm going to zoom in for you now. Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too! This is our new friend. We just met him. What's your name? Osvaldo! Osvaldo! Osvaldo. Oh. 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 He's dancing! Oh. Oh. It's our second and last day in Panama City and we've currently just walked like half an hour to try and find what's called a fonda, which is where all the locals eat. And typically they're in a strip that looks like this and you get street food which is normally just like meat and some rice and it costs about a dollar. So that's what we've just done. We don't know what meat it is. Grace thinks that it's cat meat. They just say meat. I don't, I don't think it's cat meat. I reckon it's pork. If any of you know what the meat is served in Panama City, let then us know. let us know. We are currently in Casco Viejo. Ho. How do you, is that how you say it? Casco Viejo? Oh, got a weirdo behind me. It is the place in Panama where there's lots of ruins and things and it's pretty cool. Hello everyone. It's my Australian mate. We're in the old town. I brought her back from Australia. Yeah, she found me and said, I like you. <laughs> Backpackers, so I've just purchased one of these headbands. It's mainly just to maintain the frizz, but I think it makes me look more 
Worldly. Worldly, yeah, and like, explorer. Yeah. Lovely.